Let's create a simple social media flyer in Pixel Lab. So we're starting with a blank and white workspace. So the first thing you do is to import your image. So you select the image and then you click OK. Then you adjust your image. So you can open your layers panel and lock the image so that it doesn't move. So let's bring in our color reference. So um, this is called the color wheel. So we are basically going to use it as a color reference. So the color wheel helps you select color. So if you look closely, you can see some arrows pointing between the um primary and the complementary color so you're just going to use it to select colors so you can also um, lock that so we are basically going to hide it because it's not a major part of the design we're just going to use it as a reference for our color so let's create our shapes so um, we're just going to use rectangle or square i guess so let's select the color so you click on that plus icon then go to the eyedropper tool up there then select the image reference the color reference rather then we are just going to start with the navy blue and then you click ok and um, I think that's it that's that for the shape Yeah, that's it. So you can adjust your shape. So I'm going to speed up this part. Okay, so let's make copies of our shape. So you just come to that edit icon and click the copy icon. So it's going to duplicate it. So for this, we are going to give this one the lighter blue color just go to edit and then to color and then the eyedropper to them back to our image reference um, you select the blue color um, our color reference rather you click ok um, then you can adjust this And then we take it behind every other layer so you can adjust it a little more and then let's duplicate that again so let's add our text so you can edit the text um, let's type Monday 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 okay so um, from here you ensure that you um, change the, f the color and the font so you can just do that so let's change the font so um, I have a bunch of fonts I'm going to make a tutorial on how to install um, fonts on your pixel app because the default pixel app fonts are not sufficient enough for a lot of designs so i'm going to make that tutorial so we're just going to start with chandler mountain yes so now when you look closely it's as though the letter y is being cropped out so we're just going to adjust that we're going to adjust the padding of our text so we just slide through and look for padding 
yes that's it so you adjust the right part in a bit so you see we have a letter complete nothing has been cut out so um, from here you can change the color yes so we're going to use one of the colors we just selected so if you look closely you're going to see it there so we can select that and click OK and then we're going to make duplicates of this text um, let's start from the top I think we're going to start from the top yes so we're just going to make copies of that come and copy and you, you try to put them in a straight line and ensure they are aligned yes so I think I'm going to speed up this part so let's speed up this part so you can just you can see that um, we have a lot of them there so what we're going to do is to match them so you select all the text layers so and you match them and then once you've matched them they are no longer editable you can't edit them or change anything so you take it there and we're going to take it behind the image layer uh, let's take it behind every other layer so it's just way behind and then you can lock that um, you can still make some final adjustments and then lock that so let's move everything a little bit towards the left so um, let's select all the layers you select every layer and then go to the edit tool and select position and then increase the um, pixel distance at which it moves and then you can just use the arrow keys to like nudge the selection so just adjust it a bit think that's it yeah. so let's increase the image a bit you can adjust that based on your own choice um, yeah that's it And um, let's add a shadow to the image. So you go to shadow, enable it. Then you can adjust the distance of the shadow, the offset X and offset Y. And after that, you can increase the blur reduce. Then let's reduce the opacity of the shadow. So you can just take it down. Yeah, that's okay. Um, we can still reduce it. Let's reduce it a bit. Okay, that's okay. So we are basically going to add our main text and then every other thing that's supposed to be on the design. So you can add whatever your design requires. So you can add any text, change the font make some slight arrangements because if you look closely um, the other um, Monday text behind our image will reduce the opacity so um, so that it doesn't distract the viewer so you can still add another shape right there and then change the color you can still increase it and um, we're going to add some other text there so just adjust a little bit lock it ensure to lock your layer so that it doesn't move then you zoom in so that you can really put some text there so you can put happy new week then change the color and the font and change the color white Font. I 
then that's it and then from here you can zoom out and add your logo or any other um, information like your contact details down there you can type in your phone number and every other thing address any other thing that needs to be down there you can add it so um, you just add basically anything or you add your logo just add your logo there you can import your logo whatever it is so but ensure that you still keep things simple and minimal and I think it's time to export so you just go to export image and then save to gallery and then you can also save the um, project save as project and then change the name so saving as project helps you um, keep it editable so you can come and edit it later so that's it